What's going on guys? GS now right here today with massive news coming up from Apple. They have finally open sourced the iOS kernels for the ARM architecture, which is quite nice and it's massively important for the jailbreak. And I'm going to show you why. So going ahead in here on GitHub, on Apple's GitHub, we have the Darwin XNU, which is a repository. And um, it's been updated three days ago and it now contains the ARM architecture and ARM64 as well, which means that pretty much the iOS kernel is now part of the uh, the entire repo in here and you can simply browse the entire source code. This is extremely important for jailbreak developers as now they can simply audit the code itself and check out for vulnerabilities. I have no idea why Apple did that it's pretty much the first time Apple does that and it hasn't been done in error. Apple actually published the source code for all the kernels. Even the Redmond Pi has actually covered news. It says in here, quote, Apple makes kernel of every iOS and macOS version open source. And you can actually find these on the opensource.apple.com. Now, don't get me wrong, XNU has been open source for quite a lot of time, in fact, for years, but not the iOS part of it, not the uh, ARM part of it. Now, if you, for example, go ahead in here on, uh, on this folder, OSFMK, and then you navigate to the ARM64 that I'm going to show you in here, and then you navigate to SLEH.C, and you browse it, you're going to find the actual kernel patch protection error code, you know, the KPP, which is something that, you know, jailbreakers always had a problem with because they have to actually bypass it. Now they can simply go ahead in here and here you go. Inside this long if statement in here, have a couple cases with the actual errors from the kernel patch protection. You see the kernel integrity with all the errors that might occur. With all these uh, plain source code, you know, in C available in here, jailbreakers can easily find vulnerabilities and audit the code. And it's way easier for them to, you know, actually look over the source code in here than to disassemble it in. Um, Hopper or Ida Pro and get an assembly printout, which is way harder to read than, you know, pure C and C++. This is so important, you won't believe. And it pretty much makes everything easier for developers, you know, building the jailbreak. I have no idea why Apple decided to open source the ARM64 and ARM part of the XNU, but it's definitely important. And we finally know that the kernel patch protection on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, it's not called AMCC, it's not called SIDP, it's pretty much called KTRR, which I think it means kernel text read-only region, uh, text meaning code, actually. So yeah, this might be the real name of the uh, kernel protection on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. It's been uh, dubbed to be either AMCC or SIDP for quite a lot of time. And now we finally know it's called KTRR, which is something we've got from the source code posted by Apple. This is very important. Um, a lot of researchers, have already, you know, taken over the uh, the files and they were looking at it. I personally saw Vladimir from uh, the Fried Apple team posting some screenshots from the uh, the actual source code posted in here by Apple, and um, he also found the uh, the KPP errors in here. It's, it's definitely important. And again, I have no idea why Apple did this. It it really makes the um, you know the job of the jailbreakers way easier because now they can really browse through that code and try to find vulnerabilities and make more sense of the code but yeah it's it's there and it's very important and it's quite nice so yeah what can i say thanks apple so yeah, that's pretty much it guys uh thanks for watching this video if you like this video and you want to stay updated go ahead and subscribe with notifications on tell me in the comment section down below why do you think apple has open sourced the ios kernel and till the next time i'm gsnow peace out